Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome to the top 10 coasters of July. This is the seventh time we've done this so far, so if you didn't see the results for the last six months, go check those out. There is a playlist column on the front page of my channel for all of those. A little bit of an announcement, this is the first time we have ever opened up the voting to the public. It used to be exclusive to Discord members, which meant you had to own the game to join the community and vote. Now, all you have to do is be a subscriber. By opening it to the YouTube subscribers we had a total of 220 votes opposed to our usual 50 to 60 so this really did make a huge difference so a big warm thank you to everyone who participated because this was such a huge success i will be opening it up to the public every month from here on out so be sure to check back in between august 31st and september 1st for the new voting video so while explaining the rules and statistics of this month's contest i am showing the thumbnails of the contest which were entered into the month of July. This is the rules and how it works. 30 amazing coaster creations were featured as coaster spotlights on Channel 5 Gaming in the month of July. We took those 30 coasters, put them into a Google form, and created a bulletproof system to get the best results possible. The way the system works is a legitimate top 10 voting system. Our Google form allowed you to pick your number one favorite right down to your number 10 last pick. The results were compiled into a Google sheet. Our wonderful cosmic cowgirl Lauren is a programmer. She created a formula that compiled all the picks into to a point system. The point system is simple. If you pick X coaster as number one, it earned 10 points, running one point less down to one point for a number 10 pick. So a number five pick would earn five points. The voting page was open to everyone and required an email and name. And in case someone voted for the same coaster twice, a second or more duplicates were removed to prevent any exploitation. 220 of our amazing Planet Coaster community members participated and we now have an awesome and decisive top top 10 list to present to you guys. For those of you wondering, there are no rules of what you are allowed to pick. I left this open to the opinions of the voters in order to create the most diverse top 10 list possible. What this means is someone who likes theming and creativity over realism, they are totally allowed to pick creative coasters and vice versa. The results for the voting page will be linked in the description down below. If you're interested in seeing all the point and gap differences and who nearly made it into the top 10. The full videos for all the coasters in the top 10 are listed down in the description below if you want to go watch the full coaster. So let's get on with the top 10 coasters of July 2017, everyone. Number 10, the Dreadfort created by Ben Hammond. The twisted evil king of Dreadfort lures his victims into his castle and in doing so tortures them for all eternity. Will you get out alive? This coaster was inspired by the Dreadfort of House Bolton in Game of Thrones and does a fantastic job of taking you on a tour of the castle with a furious wooden coaster design zipping through metal gates that snap shut as you fly through this terrifying castle of mayhem. Another amazing fiery coaster experience from the Fire King himself. Ben Hammond. Number 9. Firemind created by Funky Yog Hurtpot. Firemind takes inspiration from smaller B&M dive machines such as Baron 1898, Oblivion, and Crake. Plus another inspiration was Tower of Terror and Gold Reef City. Firemind also features a custom audio soundtrack to immerse you into the adventure. This dive coaster was an incredibly eerie experience that took you through a really immersive and frightening mine which was jam-packed full of of details. Number eight, Golem's Gift created by Fricker. 6,000 years have passed since mankind shared the world with golems. Man's greed and pride to claim dominion over the golems had, have forced them into extinction. This is the attempt of the very last golem to gain the favor of man. With his dying breath, he stretches forth his hand to give you his gift. The ground shakes and the rock ripples as the golem rips up both earth and rock to form this creation. Fricker created an amazing boarding station for our coaster station contest and by request turned it into a coaster to share with this wonderful community. The coaster came alive from the boarding station and a storm of mystical power twirls and wraps this coaster around the golem's hand like a tornado. Number 7. Aperture 72 created by Jamie. 
Venture into the abandoned Aperture 72 testing labs for the first time in years. What lies within the walls of the building? A sci-fi themed dark ride using scenes and custom sound inspired by Portal 2. This amazing creation was brought to you by one of our youngest monster creators in this community, Jamie. At only 13 years of age, I am constantly blown away by how impressive this young expert is at this game, and his creation proves exactly that. Jamie has used the TV screens with animations to tell a story, and he even brought in Lasser as a voice actor and synced the story to the ride perfectly. This might be the first time we've seen both animated screens and custom voice acting used on the same coaster, and it was all directed and designed by this incredibly inspiring rising master builder, Young Jamie. Really well done, Jamie. Keep up the great work. Number 6. The Windmill King, created by Combat Wombat. All bow the Windmill King, giant inverted boomerang that takes you through a fantasy town filled with beautiful buildings, strange contraptions, floating ships, and mystical mechanical dragons. Combat Wombat has done it again, blowing us away with yet another amazing creation, but this time showing us what he is capable of doing with only a 4K blueprint. Combat usually likes to stick to building giant exploration coaster experiences, but this time decided to tackle a highly detailed boomerang blueprint, and holy moly did it pay off. This is one of the most detailed and intricate boomerang blueprints we have ever seen, and it captures this almost intense Never Never Land vibe as it's jam-packed with crazy contraptions and vibrant colors. Truly amazing detail gone into the experience. Well done. Number 5. Titans Railroad by, yet again, Combat Wombat. A mining operation has awoken the ancient creatures living beneath the mountains. This amazing exploration coaster is over 3,000 meters long and uses the new gnarler wooden coaster as well as the breathtaking custom biome. If you go back and watch the full episode, you will see how much ranting and raving I do over the immense amount of detail gone into this custom biome. And it was one of the only exploration coasters with a custom biome that we have seen so far since the update. As you've seen with Windmill King Blueprint, and now with this amazing Titans Railroad Exploration Coaster using a custom biome. Combat Wombat is not afraid to tackle diversity in his coaster creations, and that is exactly why I get excited over every one of his submissions, as I never know what to expect, and he is surely a legend in the making. Number 4. Hammond Fusion, created by Ben Hammond. Hammond Fusion is an amazing exploration coaster and the first of its kind, as it takes you through a portfolio of every single creation that Ben Hammond has ever created, all in one continuous coaster track. Not only is this insanely clever, I can't fathom the difficulty of hacking up your old creations, importing them all together, then redesigning the entire track to run seamlessly from one design into the next. This is absolutely an incredible concept, and it was executed impeccably. Ben has really taken the time to find the perfect layout for all his creations to be featured, and even re-sculpted his sculptures. The amount of patience and meticulous planning to, that is required to make this possible is exactly the reason Ben is a Planet Coaster master builder and a legend in the making. Great work, Ben, on this unique, one-of-a-kind coaster creation. Number 3. Tempest and Maelstrom created by Zephor. In the far north lies a great anomaly of nature where the weather is in perpetual turmoil. These eternal storms have ensnared many a mariner, and the nightmarish thunderstorms blowing them off course and deadlier waves thrashing ships against the rocky shores. In this inhospitable environment, only the bravest can survive the dual threat of the Tempest and Maelstrom. Zephor has done it again, proven to us that you don't need a crazy giant elaborate park exploration coaster to place in this top three and compete with the best. His 4K blueprints are so detailed and his track designs are so flawless. He has really mastered the quality aspect of this game and this is the reason he is one of the few Planet Coaster legends. And for placing in the top three with this Coaster Z4, you are now leveling up yet again and earning your third prestige star to your legend rank. Congratulations, Zafor, you are the highest ranking legend and well on your way to becoming the first ever Planet Coaster Pioneer. Keep up the incredible work, my friend. Number two, 
Thar, a pirate experience created by Tommy T and Floss. Thar be pirates and ye treasures in the mountains, you land lovers. Welcome to Thar, a pirate experience. Thar is a custom giga coaster that starts off as a dark ride, then up the storytelling lifts and takes you on a high speed quest to find hidden gold treasure. Packed with so much detail that each time you ride it, you'll spot something new from burning villages to volcanoes and zooming through amazing waterfalls. This pirate coaster will definitely be the best pirate experience you've ever seen on planet coaster with the help of our amazing creator floss tommy t has done it again creating one of the most immersive breathtaking exploration coaster experiences this time pirate themed tommy isn't afraid to try it all he conjures up inspiration and creativity gets an idea and executes on it like the legend that he is we don't see enough pirate themed coasters in my opinion and this is one of the best ones to represent how amazing a pirate theme can really be both tommy and floss have done an amazing job at shining a light on the pirate theme of this game and i hope it inspires many others to take a stab at more pirate themed creations amazing work tommy t and because you placed top three of the month you are leveling up again and gaining your first prestige star to your legend builder rank congratulations tommy you are well on your way to becoming a planet coaster pioneer keep up the amazing work my friend number one Portal 2, created by Brown Eyes. A silent assassin lurks on the outside of this community. Mr. Brown Eyes has only a few creations in Planet Coaster so far, and this is one of them. He has caught all of our attention with this amazing storytelling recreation of the Portal 2 video game. This creation is something I would expect from our legend builder, Pixelated, as it creates illusions that you would not expect to ever see come out of a game like Planet Coaster. Brown Eyes truly raises the bar and steps in to compete with the best of the best and blows everyone away with this jaw-dropping experience. If you go watch the breakdown that I give on this coaster, you really get an understanding of what a master designer Brown Eyes is. He only builds what is necessary to be seen by the eye while riding the coaster in order to save time, part count, and optimization. He works smart, but also hard, as this creation is captivating start to finish as he uses the illusions to capture the essence and feeling of what Portal to looks and plays like. This truly is a perfect recreation of Portal 2 experience and it blows me away to think it was done in Planet Coaster this well. Congratulations Brown Eyes for placing first place in the top 10 coasters of July. You are an absolute monster creator and I welcome you to come join our Discord community as we would love to see what you are working on next. If you guys want to see the complete point system and results breakdown of this contest, there's a link down in the description below. Be sure to watch all the coaster spotlights this month guys because the voting for August will be public to all subscribers and you guys get to decide on next month's top 10 winners. So stay tuned for the August top 10. We'll be launching the votes around August 30th to September 1st. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.